How's it going guys? It's Rude Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about my Samsung Galaxy Note 3. This is the Verizon variant and I'm basically going to show you how to flash a custom ROM that gives you root access on Lollipop. Now this does require that you are already on KitKat and you already have root access on your device. But if you have those two things, this is going to get you up to Lollipop with root access still and even show you kind of what I would call a new custom recovery that is available and should function for you when you're on a Lollipop. So pretty excited for this video. This is going to take some time. Watch the whole thing. There's a lot of good information, new information in it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go do this. All right, so this is going to be new for me. It's kind of a, uh, you know, we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully it goes smoothly. But um, I'm going to try to go over as much as I can and give you guys as best information as I can on doing this, okay? So what we're working on here is the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. This is the Verizon variant. I would assume this would work on AT&T if you had the right files. The same process anyway. Now just so you know, I am running an Alliance ROM. Now, Alliance ROM, if you guys know what SafeStrap is, you should if you're following this. Basically, SafeStrap is a custom recovery that allowed me to install Alliance ROM on my stock ROM slot. Okay, so that's what I'm working with. Make sure you're on your stock ROM slot. You're not running a, a ROM slot when you're doing this. So, here it is, the SM-N900V. Again, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Verizon variant. Um, you can see that I'm on... 4.4.2 and we want to get to KitKat so this device does have root access and you can see it's themed kind of cool so we do have root access right here okay no big deal um, also you're gonna to need to download on your device on your internal storage I'll show it to you go to my SD card and I'm gonna be looking for this right here let me go properties uh, we'll do rename so this thing is called um, N900V Jasmine ROM V5.0 zip, okay? And what this is, is this is basically the stock official Lollipop OTA update um, for the Note 3, except for it has root access, so we can maintain root access, busy box, and a couple other little tweaks to it. But otherwise, it's pretty much 100% stock, all right? All right, hopefully I'm covering everything. So you need to be rooted already to do this. And we're actually gonna use a new application. For me, this is a beta application. Hopefully this works. Um, if this fails or you mess up this process for some reason, you will be stuck on Lollipop until an exploit is found because you can't bring it back to KitKat and root and start over. You're pretty much stuck there until somebody roots Lollipop on the Note 3. That's the situation we're in. So I'm gonna try it, hopefully it goes well for me. And if it messes up me, it's not the end of the world. So I'm going to go to FlashFire. This is the application. It's a beta application. It's by Chainfire. It came out very recently. And you can use SafeStrap to do the same process, but I want to show off FlashFire. And really, FlashFire, I think, is going to become the new SafeStrap kind of utility. So we're going to go ahead and open FlashFire. And it does ask for root access, and I already granted it. Agree to the disclaimer, so on and so forth. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to do some wipes and some flashing and some different things. So I'm going to go in here and hit plus, and we're going to go to wipe, and we're going to wipe system. Um, you know what? I'm not actually going to wipe anything. We're going to do it without a wipe. So I'm going to go ahead and go to um, flash zip or OTA, because we're going to wipe the device later in the process. Then we're going to go to, so I guess be aware of that, that's a good point. You know, back up all your pictures, all of um, your data, anything important that you have in your device before you start this process. It might be able to keep your app data, but most likely you're going to lose it and have to reset the device. You'll be, on, you'll be end up on Lollipop with root access. So that's the, uh, that's the goal here. So I'm going to go to Downloads. And if it will load, there we go. And I'm going to click on the ROM right there. So this says mount components path, read write before um, before running update. 
Um, not usually necessary to disable disable for OTAs. So I'm gonna out I'll, I'll auto mount it. That's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit check. And so we're just looking through this just to get this gives you a feel of the actions. Um, so basically, right down here, it tells you what you're flashing. Um, it says ever root disabled, which is interesting. Um, inject to firmware, and enable ADB, preserve recovery to try to prevent Android overwriting the current recovery and boot, disable setup wizard. I think I'm just going to leave it how it is. It should be okay. Um, n reboot normal. Let's see what we have for that. So I'm actually going to say we're going to reboot to download and the reason we're going to reboot to download mode is because we're going to have to flash some uh, firmware to our device this just gives us the system and rooted so i'm going to say we're going to reboot to download mode and i'm going to go ahead and hit um hit flash i think maybe it's this button um yeah so it can take minutes to flash load black screen will happen twice oh, oh yeah we gotta read this so it takes a minute or two for flash fire to load a black screen may happen twice for up to half a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is my first experience with Fire Flash. Um, hopefully this works. I'm just really curious. Like I said, this is kind of going to be the replacement of Safe Strap, at least in my eyes. Ho, ho, check that out. Wow. Yeah, so this is very different. Um, cool. Very cool, but different. I'm not used to seeing this setup. So, okay, so that did something, and now it looks like it's actually flashing just like the ROM, just like in a normal recovery. You see, flash fire recovery, basically. It's kind of what we're in. We're kind of like a bootstrapping here or something. Um, and you can see this is their recovery script coming up right here. So it says mounting, um, cleaning up, installing ROM, just like a normal recovery would have. So, this is really cool. Um, I'm really excited for this. I'm thinking that a lot of other lockdown devices that have locked bootloaders, like for example the Note 4, at some point, if we can get root for it, we'll be able to use FlashFire to go ahead and go ahead and do some wicked cool uh, ROM installs and stuff with it, just like we did with SafeStrap. So I'm pretty pumped for that. Let's let this thing wrap up here. All right, there you go. That finished. It says it is rebooting. And if I'm not mistaken, this is going to reboot us, yes, to download mode. That is perfect. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Okay, from here, I'm going to go over to my computer. We're going to flash this firmware and see if we can get this officially rooted and rocking. All right, let's go do this. All right, guys, um, this is going to be the process here. Make sure you have your drivers for your Samsung device. Um, right here are some drivers. I can link you to this. I'll put it in the video description. Actually, links to all files will be in the video description. All right, don't worry about that. Okay, so from here, um, get all the files you need. I like said, I'll link them. Don't worry, you'll get them. And then uh, basically, you're going to download this as well. This is called Odin. And we're going to go ahead and open up Odin. There we go. And then I'm going to show you guys where my files are at. Right here. Um, yeah, right here. So this is the uh, partial uh, firmware. That's what we need. We don't want to do the whole firmware. We're just getting what we need besides the uh, ROM. So it normally comes as a 7-zip. You just extract it and you have a tar.md5. Simple, okay? So then what you're going to do is go ahead and plug in your device to your computer. There we go. All right. Drivers should install if they haven't, and eventually you should see right here a com and a number, and it should say added. doesn't matter what the number is, just make sure it says added. Then you're going to go to AP, and you're going to go look for that file, that firmware. So it's here, mine is, and then here, and then here's the partial firmware. So you'll click on that, and it's what it's going to do is it's going to do a quick little check to make sure the firmware is good, the MD5 is good. And then that's it. From here, you're going to go ahead and hit start. And once you do this step right now, if if root doesn't work for some reason, something went south, 
you're gonna be in trouble because this isn't going to, you're gonna be stuck on Lollipop, basically. Um, so, just be warned, fair warning. Go ahead and hit start. And, single download a boot. Interesting. I'm kind of stuck. So I've had this happen before and it's kind of frustrating when it does, but this is what I normally do is go ahead and unplug it. See it says failed, right? Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and plug it back in again and then run it one more time. There we go. So see, you can see things are working now. I don't know why it does that. It's just kind of irritating. Your progress bar may not match along the bottom anymore, but hopefully everything will take correctly. And it should restart. Shabam! There you go. Um, so, it does say it's passed in Odin, which is really exciting. Um, this should be on Lollipop. This should be rooted. This should be it, man. You should be running this Jasmine ROM, which is basically stock. Um, and we used uh, flash fire and I'm gonna look into flash fire a ton more I'm super excited about it but we're done on the computer let's close out the programs and we're just waiting for initial boot up here so I just did kind of a dual boot there not sure what that was about hopefully everything looks smooth so it kind of boot looped there but oh yeah there we go so if it if it does kind of a dual boot that's okay don't don't panic it looks like that's kind of normal um, we're just gonna wait for it to fully boot up this first boot up process well I mean this is a note 3 this is a fast processor it's gonna be less than five minutes if it takes more than five minutes for this initial boot up right here there is an issue with your device so um, be be prepared for that also want a big say a huge shout out um, to the Jasmine ROM dude for putting this together um, just awesome awesome work and again to chain fire for f uh, fire flash which I'm gonna be using a lot especially on these locked devices so can't wait to explore that application some more I'll probably do a full review on it okay guys here we go this is pretty pumping pretty awesome so we're at the Android is upgrading. This is a really good sign. I'm sorry if you can't see that. It's pretty bright. Um, this is a very, very good sign. It's got to go about through 265 applications. Now, I did not wipe data factory reset this device. Okay. Um, I'm thinking it probably kind of did that in the script in Flashfire. But if it didn't, I'm really not that worried about it. I'm kind of curious to see if it has, if it boots up and works. If it doesn't work, um, it'd be very easy just to boot into stock Android recovery, wipe data factor reset, and you'll be back and running. So let's let this thing start up and see if we get any force closes or if we get everything working. Oh my word. Android is upgrading takes forever. We're talking like five minutes on Lollipop. On KitKat, it was like two minutes and it would do all the applications. It just just takes forever. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Boom, shakalaka. Let's go ahead and check this out. Man, am I pumped for this. So you're actually a, a greeted with the setup wizard, even though I know some of my stuff's already set up, which is interesting. Um, use Wi-Fi, it's fine for me. Um, next, I can skip this because I'm already connected because I didn't wipe the device. So, I mean, so far it's looking like without wiping data, it works for me. Like I said, you could always go into um, stock Android recovery and do that there without an issue. Say I already have a Google account added and everything. So I'm gonna skip this. Just skipping through the initial setup and shabam. All right, cool, cool. Very interesting. Now you can see that this is exactly kind of how I left mine. Even the wallpaper stayed the same. Let's actually um, just really quickly go in here and just throw in the stock wallpaper. So there you go. All right, cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, so a couple different pages. All empty, but, you know, it's all right. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look through this thing, man. Now I'm pretty pumped. Yep. 
yep, this all looks pretty standard. Kind of how I left it. I didn't have much on here. Now, oh, yeah, there it is. Super SU. Let's just make sure we're good. That's a good sign so far. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. If it doesn't pop up and saying there's like update your binaries or there's no binary, you're pretty much good. It means you have root access. I'm going to go ahead and check this out really quick. Fire flash. Should see right there. Granted, super suit. Oh, beautiful. All right, so that is the process. Let's go ahead and I don't want my magazine. That's pretty fast, dude. Kind of snappy. Let's go ahead and go into settings. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Very cool. There's your Android uh, 5.0. There is your lollipop, boom, 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 and then if you keep going, you should have the Easter egg. Hang on, yep, there it is, a little Android uh, flappy droid thing. So yeah, it's this crappy game it takes forever, and uh, yeah, you're this is oh yeah, beautiful, loving it. So there you go, that is the process, okay. Use Flash, uh, flash Fire, and then I guess probably the best part about this is that all the devices that are getting updated to Lollipop that used safe strap, safe strap wouldn't function with the newer kernel for Lollipop. Well, guess what? We have flash fire. So huge thanks to Chainfire for that. I've been looking for somebody to kind of fill in hash code shoes and it looks like this application is gonna do that very well. Along with flashing ROMs like I just did, you can also do backups, restores, and flash firmware packages. So just like you saw me flash the firmware on my computer, you can technically do that on the device directly. Um, obviously, you have to be in a booting state. The state where we were at was not a booting state, so you couldn't do it there. But if you're in a booting state, like right now, and you want to just flash official, boom, you can flash it right there, and it'll remove root and just make the whole thing completely official again. So very awesome. Absolutely love it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been fun for me to make and learn along with it. So I know it's been long. But hopefully you guys have learned enough and kind of showing as much as I can so you guys can understand it. So stay tuned for more videos on Flash Fire and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.